Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm finally reviewing the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is the new Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette and I have mine in the Elephant Edition. Now, the reason why I said I'm finally reviewing this is I have waited so long to get this video filmed. I actually ordered this off the Hourglass website and the pre-sale was quite expensive. I think I paid around like 90 euros including express delivery to the Netherlands because I really wanted to get this video up before I would go on vacation. Now, as we can probably imagine what happened, it did not arrive before I went on vacation. It literally like arrived the next working day when I was on vacation. So that kind of sucked. I paid a lot of money because I didn't want to wait for it to launch on Cool Beauty and now it's already available on Cool Beauty and like other international retailers and it's quite cheaper there, especially considering the prices of these palettes are already quite high to begin with, but we'll go over that a little bit. I'm sure you've probably seen reviews on this palette already because I have seen so many reviews come online while I was on vacation. And even though we probably all know what this looks like by now, I still wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this palette and sort of share my opinion as I did that two years ago as well with the Hourglass palette. I did not get last year's palette, but I did decide to get this year's palette. So if you are new here, then hi, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you found it. I upload beauty videos every single week and I would love it if you subscribed. But for now, if you want to see my review on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette in the Elephant Edition, then please keep watching. So I just checked on Kill Beauty and it's actually 88 euros there, but I believe they have a 20% code going on today and they usually have like quite a few discount codes. So if I can find like your current discount code, I'll have that linked down below for you guys. If you want to shop at Kill Beauty, you can save a little bit of money. But like I said, I got this from the Hourglass website and I'm quite surprised to see that this has gone even more expensive. It's currently priced at 105 euros, which is definitely not what I paid. I paid like 90, including like the free delivery. I think I had like a 10% welcome code though, but I think they did increase the price a little bit. But yeah, I just wanted to share some information about this palette before we would go to apply it to my face. And as you can see, I have my makeup on, but I do not have any like products on that are in this palette. I do have a setting powder on, but I think we can still like apply a bit of the finishing powder. I wanted to share basically that the only like perk you get from buying this on the Hourglass website is actually you're able to customize the palette. So this year Hourglass came out with three different designs. Designs. This is one of them, the Elephant Edition, but they also have the Tiger and then the Butterfly Edition. And they all like suit a different like range of skin tones, which I think is nice. The Tiger palette is the deepest one and that one is definitely catered more towards like medium to deep skin tones. I think they could have even made like a deeper version because I feel like that's a thing that a lot of people have been saying with these Hourglass palettes is that usually they're not really that inclusive in terms of skin tone. But what I like about this is that when you like really want the Tiger palette, but you're like super super fair. You can actually customize the palettes and get the tiger palette with a different inside. So I think that's really nice. This is just the regular elephant palette. So when you buy the like normal elephant palette, this is what you get. So I think we should just take a look at this palette now. So basically it just comes in this cardboard design and it has this like beautiful elephant on the front and like on the back, it just has some information. It actually says that 5% of the profits from the Unlocked supports the non-human rights project. So that's a little bit of information about there. So, so what I think is kind of interesting is you have the front and then the back is upside down. I don't know if that's like a fault or if they did that on purpose. So you basically have to flip it around like this and then you have the like ingredients but then the elephant is upside down. thought that was pretty interesting but this palette is made in Italy and it has a 12 month shelf life. I believe the palette I got two years ago also had a 12 month shelf life. I would rather see a longer shelf life but I mean it's just an indication. Sometimes these palettes will last longer so we'll see in a year from now what this palette is looking like. But when you take out the palette this is what it looks like. So it's basically like kind of the same as at the front the design. I really like that. It also has this design on the, the palette because sometimes a product just has a really nice packaging that you throw the packaging away, at least I usually do, and then like the design is gone. So I really like that they kept the same design on the actual palette. It just comes with a little directions of use from Hourglass, which I think is pretty interesting. One thing that I do want to point out that I'm seeing right now that I think is quite interesting, it says on this like little sheet here, a little warning, avoid contact with eyes. So sometimes Sometimes I think we all like to apply like a bronzer in the crease. I have the Fenty Beauty bronzer and eye palettes on my eyes today and it's basically a bronzer palette that is like suitable for the eye area. But sometimes certain ingredients aren't suitable for the eye area which I 
think is the case with this one. So keep that in mind. If you do decide to buy palettes because you like the tones and you're like, I'm just going to use that on my eye, be aware that this little like warning sheet is inside. I didn't really plan to apply these to the eyes anyways, but now I just want to take a look with you guys at this palette. I love the beautiful shade. I think this feels so heavy as well. It feels a lot more luxe than I thought it was going to be. For some reason, I thought it was going to be like cheaper plastic, but it's actually like a really nice, sturdy, luxury material. And then are you guys ready to open up this gorgeous palette? There we have the Elephant Lighting Edit Unlocked palette. How beautiful does this look? I'm scared the pants will fall out. <laughs> they probably shouldn't, but I'm just going to hold it a little bit more like this. But this is what the palette looks like. I think this is such a beautiful palette. I went with this one. I think this is like the light to medium one. I think the butterfly one is even lighter in terms of like the setting powders. But I went with this one because it has a dim light in here, which is one of my favorite shades. I've used it up before and I do really like that finishing powder. And I just thought that these two blushes look so pretty. They do look a little bit similar, but they both look beautiful. So to go over the shades, first we have the finishing powder in a dim light then we have the finishing powder in a soft light we then have the metallic strobe powder in the shade beaming strobe light we have the bronzer in lustrous bronze light right here then we have the blush in iridescent coral and lastly the blush in a radiant rose so i do really like this little variety of shades in here and i'm very excited to apply this to the face with you guys so I'm very ready to now put these products on my face. I'm excited to see what they will look like. So let's get started. I just have this fluffy bronzer brush that I'm going to be using. My regular bronzing brush I need to clean. So I'm just going to use this one. I just came even more close so it's easier to see. This looks so small compared to my head. But I am going to use this one as a finishing powder. And this one is called Soft Light. It's a little bit lighter and more warm toned than Dim Light. And I'm basically just going to place this under my eye. Now I already have quite a blurring setting powder on because I kind of forgot that there were finishing powders in this palette when I was getting ready. So I'm just going to apply a little bit this kind of for fun because we're probably not going to really see a difference. Like I said, I'm already wearing my Say Beauty Air Set Powder and it's quite blurring as well. But I do really like these Hourglass finishing powder. Like I said, I've used up dim light before and I really love wearing these, especially like on no makeup makeup days because they're quite blurring. So I really like them. I can give you my review on them. I do like these powders. I've tried them before. They're nothing different. But I'm very curious to see what the bronzer is going to look like on me. So I'm just going to try to be very precise and just take a little bit of this bronzer because I don't know how pigmented it's going to be. And then I'm just going to place it on here where I would normally apply my bronzer. That's a nice warm toned shade. It also has a little bit of a glow to it. My hair was looking very well today. I used my Dyson Airwrap when it was still pretty wet and then it usually ends up looking a little bit rough like this, but it'll probably look better tomorrow. <laughs> So I definitely think that the bronzer is suitable for my skin tone. It's a gorgeous sort of like glowy bronzer, leaning more warm, but I don't think it's orange or anything on my skin tone. So I really like that because I was like a little bit concerned about how like warm this was going to be since I have quite a light skin tone. But I'm glad to see that the shade is actually working out for me and it's really pretty. So now I'm not really sure which blush I want to use. They both look pretty similar, but this one is just a little bit more coral. I think I want to use that one because I love how fresh it looks and the palette's coral as well. So applying a little bit of my blush brush. That's a really pretty shade. It's quite vibrant, so be careful you don't take too much because I think this is going to be a little bit much, but they're quite like sheer on the skin, so they are very beautiful. As you could see, I took quite a lot of product, but it still blends out really nicely. And now I'm just going to apply a little bit of the other shade on top because why not? So this one is definitely a bit more pigmented and a bit more pink. It's a little more bright than what I'm used to, but I do think it's pretty. So now as for the highlighter, I think this one is going to be too deep for me. It looks like a bit of like a rose gold highlighter, which it just looks quite deep to me. So I'm just going to take a little bit and hope for the best. I actually thought this was going to be a little bit lighter in person. And I'm kind of sad because in the palette that I got two years ago, the highlighter was too deep as well. And 
just sucks because they have a beautiful highlighter formula but I just like need a lighter shade. It's not that bad. It's not giving too much of a cast. I would prefer like a lighter shade but when the lights hit my cheek I still think it's pretty and nice and glowy. I think that's pretty. It's not as deep as I thought it was going to be so I'm glad to see that but I still think I would have preferred a lighter option but it looks beautiful. I love how glowy my makeup is looking. So now for my final thoughts. This is a first impression of course so I am going to test this out a little bit more throughout the upcoming weeks and I will definitely update you guys once I've tried this more but for first impression I really like this. I think it's beautiful and glowy. I like the highlighter. I'm so surprised and the blushes are nice and bright and the finishing powder I just know I love. I'm sorry I couldn't test them out that well for you guys today. Should we give this palette a little swatch? So here we have the shades swatch and I don't know how well you can see but that bronzer definitely looks a bit warmer than it does in the pan. Like when you swatch it the pan also sort of like turns a warmer shade but I do feel like it's a really pretty shade. The blushes are definitely a bit more sheer swatch but as you can see they apply beautifully on the face. The highlighter actually looks really pretty swatch as well. So yeah this palette is getting a thumbs up for me it is definitely pricey so keep that in mind if you're not really a person that reaches for face palettes a lot then definitely keep that in mind I love the hourglass products and like I said I got this two years before as well so I really wanted to pick this one up and see like if it was maybe like different how the formulas have changed and I just love hourglass products so I'm very happy that I did decide to pick this up I do not need all three but I'm still looking at the tire palettes because it looks so pretty but it's probably going to be way too deep for my skin tone if you are my skin tone and you order the tiger palettes definitely let me know if you can make it work especially since you're like not able to use them on the eyes apparently so I would love to hear your thoughts on that as well and also let me know what you think of this hourglass release in general I know not everyone is a big fan of the animal designs I do think it's cute I like that it's different so it's definitely getting a thumbs up for me it is pricey but I do think it's a beautiful luxury makeup product I hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you did enjoy this video then I would absolutely love it if you give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe or turn on the notification bell if you don't miss any of my videos all of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it but with that said I want to thank you guys all so much for watching I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video bye